What do you mean I can buy it? Where did you get the idea? I was scrolling down through YouTube and it said build your own ballista kit. Did you found that? Yeah, and then I was like, you, hmm, I Was it make made it. with popsicle sticks? No, it was made with actual wood. All right, we're here with Aaron. Yes, me. Aaron designed a popsicle ballista. Uh, let's take a look at that. Is that your, that's your original design right there, right? Yes, sir. It started off by gluing five popsicle sticks together right there just for a base uh -huh. of the whole gun. Yeah. And then, um, then I started the cage, I caged in where mm -hmm. the shot would go so it'd be more accurate. Nice. When it goes through there. Yeah. Just you just kind just of freestyled that on your own? Yep. It's impressive. Um, and then I cut two popsicle sticks and, or I cut a popsicle stick in half mm -hmm. and made it as a support so it can sit down like that. Mm -hmm. And um, to do the front part of it, yeah, you soak it in water. How long did you soak it for? Um, you can do it as short or as long as you want, but yeah. maybe five minutes. Wow, that's minutes. awesome. Um, you bend it and then to attach the firing rubber band. Yeah. Um, I hot glued it over, then did a wrapped a rubber band around it. Uh huh. And um, for this, I took apart a clip yeah. and wrapped a rubber band around it so it could. It's pretty, it's it. pretty ingenious, Aaron. Good job. Yes, sir. Here you go. I'm about to fire my ballista. Oh. Don't aim for the face. You're still dead. Ugh. This was designed by a student by the name of Aaron. Kirkland. Brilliant. We're gonna learn how to make it right now. You will need four regular sized popsicle sticks. You will also need 10 jumbo sized popsicle sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You will also need two thicker rubber bands and two thinner rubber bands. You'll need a ruler to take some measurements. You just might need some masking tape too. You might want to get some scissors. It might also be a good idea to have an X-Acto knife, a razor knife, and a cutting board. Don't forget, cut away from you. And you'll definitely need a hot glue gun and some hot glue sticks. And you might need a pencil. You're gonna need half of a closed pen. So, I'll show you what that looks like. You need one of these dealies. Okay, let's get this party started. You're gonna need five of your jumbo sized craft sticks. Now don't get confused, we want the jumbo. There's a difference. These are jumbo, these are regular size. We want five jumbo sized craft sticks. We are gonna take these five jumbo craft sticks and we're gonna glue them together. So I'm gonna run a bead of hot glue along here. And I'm gonna line that up nice and neat. And it's okay if there's a little thickness to it, it's all right. Don't be stingy with the hot glue. We want it to stay together. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and neat. I'll squish, give it a little squish. I'm gonna do my fourth one, like so. Okay, it's okay if it bows out a little bit. Don't worry about that. I'll squeeze some more glue out. And now we have our fifth popsicle stick. So I have a stack of five Jumbo Craft Sticks hot glued together. If they bow out a little bit, or they have a little bit of space between them, that is okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my half of my clothes pin and I've got my jumbo craft sticks here and I've turned them on this side. And what I want to do is have a little bit of my clothes pin hanging off. And you see the little groove here? I'm just going to put the rubber band kind of right there. And I'm going to start wrapping the rubber band around the back of my popsicle stick stack. Just like that. Okay. So I got it on there nice like that and here's what I'm looking for a little mechanism that does like that this has it doesn't have to look perfect it could be a little messy looking that's fine <clears throat> but that's what we're going for 
Okay, so now I'm going to flip that over and on the bottom, I'm gonna glue a popsicle stick, okay? So I'm gonna get some glue going here. Don't be stingy with the glue. And I just wanna kinda get it nice on there nicely. Line it up with the edges here. Make sure it's about halfway off each side like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. There we go, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take one of my jumbo craft sticks here and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm actually gonna do that for three of my jumbo sticks here. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna find the middle of the jumbo stick and measure that. So, what I see here is that this jumbo stick is just a little bit shy of six inches, or right about at six inches there. If I, if I get right in the middle, you'll see it's a, right there at about six inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it at three inches right here. I'm gonna take my other jumbo craft stick and I'm gonna put the ruler sort of in the middle of it and I'm gonna mark at about three inches, which is halfway. I'm gonna take this other one and again, I'm gonna slide my ruler up to about halfway. I'm gonna start right here at this notch and I'm going to measure all the way over here to six. So here I go. I'm going to mark right here at three inches. Okay. Now, I should have three jumbo craft sticks, or popsicle sticks. And I'm going to draw the rest of that line right here. And you are then. And I have something like this. You got three craft sticks with a line going down the middle. And these craft sticks are about six inches long. So I've drawn my line here, the halfway point, which is three inches. So I've got three inches on each side. Okay. See what I'm talking about? The whole thing's six inches. I measured halfway. I got three inches here and three inches here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take those, and I'm gonna, if you're a He-Man with a lot of strength, you can take this and cut it. Just like that. Now, if that's not your style, what you can do is use an X-Acto knife, and don't forget to cut away from you. Notice how I'm not cutting towards my fingers, I'm gonna cut away. And I don't wanna cut all the way through, I just wanna score the top. All I've done is made a little sliver out of the top. And then I'm just gonna break it on that line, just like that. Either way, it'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna take and just drag my X-Acto knife across it a few times. And I've scored the top of it, meaning I just took a little notch out of the top. And now I'm gonna push back and forth and break it. And I got two nice little half pieces. So. I took my three jumbo sticks and I cut each one of them in half. And these jumbo sticks cut in half are gonna be helpful for our next steps. Don't forget to use the cutting board. Use either an X-Acto knife or use scissors. And definitely don't forget to take measurements. You're gonna need to go for the three inch mark here, not three centimeters, three inches. Use a pencil to mark it. Okay, I'm gonna take one of my halves here that I just cut, and I wanna glue it, not right here, but I wanna go up about halfway. So don't glue it like right there, even with it. You wanna go up about halfway like that, okay? So I'm gonna run a little bead of glue here. Like that. And we are gonna make sure it's lined up right here so that's good and i'm gonna just put it about halfway like that okay notice how i've gone up a little bit to right about here okay i'm gonna run a bead of glue on the other side 
and do the same thing. Don't, don't be stingy with your glue. So I'm gonna just now put it right about there and I'm gonna eyeball it and make sure that that's up, kind of at the same spot. So, looks good. It's about halfway up. Looking good. We're gonna take another half of our jumbo craft sticks right here and we're gonna glue it to the top right here. So, I'm gonna be careful not to get too crazy with my glue and I'm gonna run a bead right here on the top. And then on this side as well. You gotta be careful when you're doing this because you don't wanna have a bunch of glue fall in the middle part because that's gonna be the channel that launches your popsicle stick. Now, I'm gonna just put my little roof on here and I'm gonna make sure it's nice and even with the back side right here. See how that's nice and flush? That looks good. Okay, so I got my little roof on there. You notice how I can see down the channel there? That's a good thing, okay? And I might just, just for laughs, put a little bead of glue here, just cause I'm a perfectionist. And that's not even really necessary, but I got a little gap right there in my foot. Okay, so I got my little roof on here, just like that. Okay, see there's a little channel there. Looking good.